Welcome to Cool to Craft. I'm Tiffany Windsor. And I'm Heidi Borchers. Today we are celebrating Thanksgiving, but in a non-traditional way. We're giving thanks, but we're doing it creatively. We're doing it without turkeys. On today's show, I'm going to use a paper plate and show you a fun way to, to just give a little simple thanks to someone that you love. Candice Jedrowitz is celebrating Thanksgiving with tea. She loves to have tea party themes and Thanksgiving is the perfect time to give thanks. It's yummy. What are you doing? I am spelling out gratitude. I have created a no so gratitude banner. It's very quick and very easy. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Today's show is all about giving thanks or thanksgiving. Right. You know, it's always really important to, no matter what time of the year it is, to give a little gift of thanks when someone's done something really nice for you. Really, one time a year we think about Thanksgiving because of the holiday. It um, is food related mm -hmm. and uh, gathering a family, which is great. But we just want to remind everyone, everyone that you can give thanks all throughout the year. Right, and it's really, um, you know, think about it ahead of time too. If you make these little gifts, uh, like in groups, you always have something to say thank you to people. So today, I'm actually using a paper plate. You know, I've used paper plates a lot for the look of paper sculpture. So today, I have a really cool flower. Take a look. For today's project, I'm using a paper plate, and you want to get the kind that has a really nice flute to it, and I know they're hard to find, but they are out there, and uh, choose the ones, because you'll get a, night, a better petal for your flowers. Also have some buttons, some embroidery floss, we're going to use a skewer stick for our stem, and you need some craft foam. And I am using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle. For each plate, you can get about three flowers out of it. And you're going to use the inside for the leaves and for the centers to build up the, the actual flower. So be sure you draw those on because you don't want to go in and cut that area. And then you're going to start cutting your petals. And it's really, really simple. And I just go around the whole... A uh, plate and I I cut go in I cut go in and just kind of round that edge on the on each flute super simple and then I turn it after I go all the way around I turn it over and I do the same thing just round it and then Come back, round it, oops, and that one I cut all the way really good. Let's go back and cut these. And you need, for the fuller flower, I think you need about, I think it was about 20 petals. So I have a bunch of them cut out here, bring them in here, like so, and you can see how these are all cut, and here's my center cut out from the middle of my um, plate, and I used a template that was one inch circle. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the outside edge, because I'm going to do one um, row on the outside and one on, on top of that. And you just start putting it the petals, each petal into the glue. Making sure that it does get some glue on it. If it doesn't, then add a little bit of glue onto the back of it. And 
And for this particular flower, the petals are cupped going upward. It looks like I could use a little bit more glue here. Keep those petals pretty close together. And then we start our next row. And if you find that the next row that some of these won't fit, then just cut them to fit. Super simple. We're going to be covering that center with a, um, a couple of buttons. And remember, you don't need very much. A little bit of glue goes a long ways. That was a little long too. I can probably fit one more there. Okay, now I have some wonderful buttons, and these are from um, Bloomingdale Lansing. And I'll just select a few. I line them up and put a little bit of the glue on the end so we can create it like a needle. We're going to go down through the button, first button, and then the next button, and then come up through the hole. Oops. Go up through the next button, and again, this would be fun with any color. It'd be fun to do all different colors. Simply tie a knot. Tie them together. And I just cut them off, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch. And that's going to be my center. Let's put a little bit of glue on the back of it, put it in the center, and I'm going to set that aside for just a few minutes so we can do the leaves. For the leaves, I have some craft foam because I'm going to score them. Now remember, we cut this out of the center. So I'm using a stylus. It's the little tool that has a little ball on the end of it. And this is going to make it look like it's paper sculpture. It's been embossed. And if you have that craft foam underneath, it gives enough to give you that uh, embossed look. See how that looks? Isn't that cool? Now I've taken a skewer stick and I painted it white with white acrylic paint and I wrapped this so that it will form around there. Put a little bit of glue. And if you want to just hold it, help hold it, just put a um, clothes pin. For the words, you just print them on your computer and print them over to the right so that you can use the, the whole strip and it'll be on the side that you want. Just cut it out and then turn it over. We're going to put some glue on the back of it and use a small piece of cardboard or paper plate and just squeegee the glue. I 
place it. over the stick and line it up. And trim it. Take this off. And your leaves have been glued on. Now also what you can do is you can take your Pinking shears and do a little edge, and it's it's a double cut. You go cut once, and then you go back and cut. And you have your leaves. Now let's take a look at the finished flower. You're going to glue the flower to the end of the stick, and you are all ready for the perfect project to say thank you. Heidi, these are adorable. Aren't they fun? And they're just, they're so easy to do. They're with things that you have around the house and um, just make a bunch of them up. Even if you just gave a whole bunch of them, wouldn't it be cool to have just a whole bunch of these flowers in like a pot? that you can say thanks to someone. And you could say thank you and then you could give all the reasons why you love them mm -hmm. <laughs> and adore them. And again, we don't need to think about it just for thanks. Think about it for other things during the year. Happy birthday, you know, for your coworkers, just to have a cute little thank you or a happy birthday so that they could put it on their desk. And even if you just take a little clay pot, put a styrofoam ball into mm -hmm. it, put a little moss on it, mm -hmm. quick and easy, you can paint it if you want to, put a little ribbon on. Pop this down in, adorable. And inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I love how you've done the embossing onto the paper plate too. It makes yeah. it look so elegant. Yeah, it looks like paper sculpture. Thank you so much. Oh, that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. Candace Jedrowitz is celebrating Thanksgiving today with tea. I'll bet you she could use some of my flowers in her tea. Hi, Candace. Hi. Thank you ladies. Hi everyone, welcome back to my studio. I would like to propose an alternative Thanksgiving celebration. One that's intimate, isn't a huge amount of work, and one that incorporates not just your family, but your friends. I collaborated on this one with my dear friend Debbie Dubs on the West Coast and my dear friend Candace Licione on the East Coast. Candace is an herbalist and she designed a special tea just for this Thanksgiving tea. It has white tea with tangerine, cinnamon, sage, star anise, mint, freeze-dried blueberries, and it smells and tastes heavenly. Debbie Dubs is an executive chef and she has written this book this wonderful cookbook what's in your pantry I use some of Debbie's recipes along with some of Candace's recommendations and came up with a really fun idea but first let's take a look at the invitation I designed this just for you Along with the two printouts, you will need a piece of cardstock in a complementary color measuring eight by five and a half inches. And you can see I've already folded that in half. Now I want to stick the outside very firmly to the outside of my card because I want to use glitter glue. And if you use a tape that leaves any spaces at all, it leaves it open to kind of crumple the paper a little bit to, you know, wrinkle it. So I'm going to use double stick tacky sheets and let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut right up to the edge right there and then I'm going to square it. And 
And I want to do the same on the other side. I square it up, but go right to the tip. And then I'm going to cut off the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is fold the paper in half. Make sure that the points meet up. I've cut a very narrow strip of the tacky double stick sheets and I'm going to put that right in the center line and that'll help us attach this to the outside of the card neatly. Now I'm going to start laying down my larger sheets. Make sure you go all the way up to the top. I'm going to add that to the bottom and cut it so I can get to the paper on that sheet. You can see nothing goes to waste. Any tape that's sticking out where you don't need it, cut it off and fill in the spaces. Let me show you why I put the tape on, leaving the back on the tape, because that's going to make it easier to cut around the shape and to have the tape all the way to the outside edge so you get a nice edge stick. You want to remove as much as you can of the exposed tape because it's going to grab everything. It'll grab your work surface, it'll grab your scissors, it'll grab your clothes. It's very grabby tape. And that's exactly why you want to use it for a paper project that you're going to glitter. And there you have your cutout. You want to make sure that you don't have any white showing. Okay. Now here's why I did the middle strip because I'm going to fold that in half, open your card up, and I know this is the inside, but this is a good way to do this. And drop it into the fold. All right, and then you're going to go back and pull off your other tapes. Pull the backing off. Smooth it down. I've overlapped a little bit here, so I am going to trim that off. So it's all stuck down now, and I'm going to fold it the other way. Smooth it the best you can. And then let the glitter glue begin. Here's my finished invitation. I used the clear glitter glue uh, to cover almost the whole teapot set. And I also went around the edges of the little peacock eyes and around the scallops inside of the outer edge. And it makes it very glittery. Woo! I love that! 
Now that you've seen how easy that is, think how easy it would be to just bake a few things, to make a lovely little soup, to share with your friends. Don't forget, Candace's tea is called Thanksgiving tea and it can be found on the Cool to Craft Marketplace. Debbie's cookbook, What's in Your Pantry, can be found at Amazon.com. I hope that you will tinker with this idea and if you try it, I hope I get to see pictures. Email me, Candace at CoolToCraft.com with your stories and your high resolution photos and I'll share them on our website and with the world. Stay crafty, my friends. Just in case you didn't know, Heidi and I love tea parties. Oh, I just, I can't believe that we didn't get up there for the tea party, Candace. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love how she has a special blend just for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It's really wonderful if you just want to center yourself and pour yourself a cup of tea and why don't you make a list of all the things that you are grateful for. Or thankful for. Yes. <laughs> and speaking of gratitude. Well, that's where that was going. <laughs> did you catch my drift there? I did now. <laughs> I love the idea, you know, they have all of these happy birthday pennant banners. So I thought, well, why not for Thanksgiving or any time of the year, go ahead and create a no so gratitude banner. And again, you can use any word. I am using the Aline's Peel and Stick Sheets and the Aline's Peel and Stick Tape to create my banner. The first step is to cut your fabric into ribbon lengths and I just use my scissors to snip at the end and then tear the fabric which gives me a really nice edge. This gives you a bit more of a rustic edge to your fabric. Be sure and just pull off any of the extra threads that are left behind when you tear your fabric. To create the ribbon I want to overlap my ends. So for that step, I am going to use my Aline's Peel and Stick Tape. Press it down. Press firmly to be sure that the adhesive sticks to the fabric. I like to fuse it in the corner pop it up from the back. If that paper doesn't pop up, it means that your adhesive is not fused. As soon as it's fused, it'll pop right up. Layer your ribbon. And that's going to give me the length that I want for my banner. For the actual pennants, I cut my fabric and I'm using a half size of the Aline's Peel and Stick sheet. So these come four and a quarter by five inches. So you want to cut them in half. And that just optimizes the size to get more of the pennants out of one package. Working on the wrong side of my fabric, I want to Release the paper, press adhesive side down to the wrong side of my fabric, and once again give that a good press all the way around, and then I cut this piece right up to the edge of the peel and stick sheet. And once that is cut, I'm ready to adhere that on to the second piece of fabric. I like to layer two pieces of fabric. Gives a little bit more body to the pennant. When you're working with your peel and stick sheets, just expose a little bit of adhesive at a time. It's very, very sticky. So you'll find that it's much easier to use if you only pull off a little bit of a paper at, at a time 
and then when you're ready to just keep moving down and fusing those together. So now I am cutting the second piece of fabric to the same shape and size as the first. So now I have the two pieces fused together, fold them in half, cut from corner to corner, and I have my pennant. Save those other two pieces. I'm sure there's lots of cool projects that you can use those on. Once you have all of your pennant pieces cut, you can decide how many letters that you want on your banner and be sure and cut enough of these pennant pieces to spell out your word. Now it's time to go ahead and glue those on to your ribbon or the fabric ribbon as in this case. What I like to do when I'm using the peel and stick tape is to cut it into about three inch lengths. You will find that it's much easier to work with that way especially when it comes time to release the paper and turn your fabric over, it's a lot easier because that glue is so sticky. If you're working with large open adhesive at a time, it can tend to stick back into the fabric where you don't want it. So I would continue to add my peel and stick tape all the way along the length of my ribbon. Let's put one more piece here so we can work in both directions. All right, so I find the center of my ribbon and what I want to do is glue down my first pennant. So I'm going to fuse the corner make sure that paper pops up, then I know that the peel and stick sheet or roll or tape, whatever I'm using, is stuck down. I'm going to lay this pennant down into the glue and get it exactly where I want. You'll notice that I didn't take all the paper off yet, but I do want to get this edge down, so I'm ready to stick that down, but I leave the rest of the paper on going to make it a lot easier as you're trying to continue to work with this. Peel this back, get that edge down. All right, that looks good. So now I'm ready to reveal my next adhesive. Try and keep your fingers out of it. That's not always easy to do when you're working on these, but you don't want to get your fingers stuck in it because sometimes that can pull that right back up. So you can see how I've left a space in between. You can space these pennants out as wide as you'd like to. What you are going to need to do now, because you've covered up part of this glue here, and I want to be sure that this edge stays down securely, is I'm going to add more tape along the top edge. There's my finger sticking in that glue. another piece down and again just keep working a section at a time. So I'm going to peel this back here and just give you an idea of how this works. Fusing it down, pulling it back, fuse the corner, pull it back. Then you're ready to fold this down and line it up and that stays in place. So continue to work to add your peel and stick tape along the bottom edge, add your pennant pieces, and continue to glue this down until you have your entire pennant completed. Then it's really quick and easy to add your lettering. I like to use the foam shapes that I can just press down right over my fabric to create my greeting. That is how quick and easy it is to create your gratitude banner.
So I hope that I have encouraged all of you who don't sew to create your own gratitude banner. Well, you know, um, even though you do sew, this is so easy to put together that um, you don't need to get out the sewing machine. Just put it together really quickly. I can't imagine you not getting out your sewing machine. I would not for this. <laughs> I, trust me, it, it would be so much easier like you did it to glue it. I would mm -hmm. not get my sewing machine out for it. As Mama Aline says, if you can't glue it, don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, have you made your list of all the things that you're grateful for? I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, that's a long, a long list. list. <laughs> well, there's a lot of gratitude. They say that we can attract more goodness in our lives if we express more gratitude. So, I'm grateful for my sister. Oh, thank you. I am grateful <laughs> for my sister. You have no idea how much <laughs> Heidi you. does for me. Uh, including every time I need fabric, <laughs> I go into Heidi's stash in her studio. I'm basically any supply that what I was need. It the other day so I'm going to say thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> and thanks for, no, that wouldn't oh be my gosh. gosh. Here, let's go. Thanks for, for caring. caring. Oh my gosh. See, that makes a lovely little <laughs> gift. You a couple presents in I know. <laughs> hey, I like this. <laughs> so um, just again, I wanted to remind everyone that when you feel like you're down, the first thing you need to do is write a list of all the things that you're grateful for and you will be amazed how that can help you turn around your mood. Mm -hmm. Also in that list, and when you make a list, it also kind of gives you just a sense of what, what you know, the future, you know, what you might need to do, your goals and everything, because it just, when you start making a list of any kind, and a thank, thank you one is, or a gratitude one is, is really important. Mm -hmm. it, it is, it's amazing how it just turns around your whole feeling in your day and mm -hmm. so we want to encourage all of you to give thanks and sorry no turkeys today <laughs> of course except me <laughs> i'm the turkey today what was that yeah what was that um turkey that we used to make as a kid i, oh, I think it was the hand yeah <laughs> we would trace your hand onto the paper plate cut it out there's, yeah you know as you and know there's your, there's your little hand and there's that Gosh, it's been a long time, Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> I think and I then, used to put some feathers on it yeah. and some jewels is, on it. Which is adorable. I saw yeah. a contest recently online where they were asking you to do really fancy drawings. Mm -hmm. It was like the um, the grown-up version of that. Oh, and that's cool. There were some amazing bejeweled and um, all sorts of um, Zentangle and beautiful Ooh, designs. Oh, cool. So, Creativity all around us. I would like to um, circle back around, I always do this, circle back around to Heidi um, to let you know what we made on today's show just in case you just have joined us. On today's show I showed you a really easy flower, it's made out of a paper plate and make it, using those little edges, the little fluted edges of the paper plate, it is fabulous for making it look like it's paper sculpture, like you've actually taken a lot of time and worked to sculpt it into a flower. And it's just a nice way to say thank you or any time during the year, happy birthday, I love you. Just a nice little uh, flower for giving you words. Mm -hmm. I love how you've used the paper plates because it's so inexpensive mm -hmm. to craft with these. For a great look. And each of those little flutes, is that what they're called mm -hmm. on the edge of it, makes the perfect petal. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, you can make about three out of one paper plate, three flowers. Awesome. Candace Jedrowitz loves to celebrate with tea. No wonder she's one of our favorite girlfriends. And, and adopted <laughs> sisters. <laughs> and so Thanksgiving is a perfect time to celebrate with tea and her tea themed project today was just adorable. Can loved I say it. that it's adorable? Yes, I loved <laughs> it. But I always love her creativity. And I showed you how to create a no sew gratitude banner. These are so easy to create, whether you sew or not. You can put this together with the Aline's Peel and Stick, that's the Fabric Fusion uh, sheets and rolls. And you can make this in a matter of under an hour. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do and I love it. And we would like to invite all of our viewers to join us at Facebook. You will go to facebook.com slash cool to craft and like us, share your gratitude with us. <laughs> And don't forget to go to cooltocraft.com and sign up for our newsletter because there's all kinds of information and instructions and how-tos on our, um, on our Cool to Craft website. 
And also when you are at Pool to Craft in the right hand column, look down the page just a little bit further and you will find Almost Dailies. Now that's where we share some behind the scene looks at what's going on in the studio. And bloopers. Some and <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we don't have as much time as we'd like to to cover some of our project techniques and so we give you just a little bonus through Almost Dailies. You're going to have to decide what bonus that you want to share this week. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I showed everything. You know, we'll have to figure out another uh, project. You know what I might show is I might show some of the other, just some of the photographs of the other things that I did a long time ago with, with the um, paper plates. Paper plates? Yeah. I think that would be yeah. perfect. Yeah, that would I'll, be perfect. I'll just show some pictures of, um, of what I did over the years. I mean, I know there was like a, a gift card with a lamb and um, there was some other flowers for like frames and everything. We'll do that. I also want you, when you are at Cool to Craft, you have a lot of things to do when you're there. Go and click on the little icon at the top that says Cool to Craft Connection. Candace Jedrowitz has added a lot of new projects to our shopping um, site, which is shopcooltocraft.com. And when you purchase any of the projects that have that little uh, connection icon on them, then your uh, purchase, the funds from your purchase, go to donorschoose.org. Well, that's really cool because yes. we have all kinds of different things there that um, are de designs that we've made that um, we would like to raise money for donorschoose.org. Exactly. So I think that we have covered everything that we can cover about gratitude today. Well, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Get creative. Get inspired. Be, be cool. cool. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.